We're joined by Bridie Lewis, animal health professional. How are you, Bridie? Very well, Up. So, look, my um, history is in veterinary science, but I started with the company this year um, alongside my colleague Bronwyn Fowler, who has been working in the animal health and nutrition space for the last three years with Nutrien. Um, and we are, yeah, sort of aiming to provide that additional service um, to our customers, to our clients, to help build uh, an animal production plan for them and assist with any disease investigation, reproductive issues, um, and, and basically improve their profitability. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a unique approach, isn't it? We've uh, been used to it with agronomy for a uh, considerable amount of time, but now Nutrient are going to have on farm tailor made animal health plans, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. Or Macca. production plans. Yeah. So pretty much, um, you know, the agronomy structure, everyone knows it. Um, and I guess we're probably trying to work in a little bit similar like that. Everyone knows Nutrient as a company that, you know, we sell the products, we can supply those animal health products and, uh, you know, uh, trade your sheep, etc. But um, we just want to take it to that next level of really rounding out the service that we're providing to our customers. You're a vet scientist um, and you've been in the role only briefly, yep. but what's some of the improvements that you've been able to implement on individual farms? Can we, have we, uh, can we gauge the productivity increases yet? Uh, yeah, so definitely early days. I think what we do is pretty varied at, at that stage because we are really still writing the blueprint of what we are doing. Um, a lot of, of what goes on is around nutrition, um, a lot of nutritional advice. My, my colleague Bronwyn has been doing previously a lot of ration work um, with clients and then I'm coming in probably from more of a disease investigation, um, investigating poor reproductive performance. So really what's happening is we probably get these issues identified through the branches. They're clients might reach out to them and then they will get us to come in and, and look at the enterprise as a whole and see where we can um, and try and help out. So Bridie, uh, promising start to the season statewide really. Uh, what are some of the uh, points of interest, some of the concerns or some of the, the issues that have been that you've been keeping yourself busy with? Yeah, so green feed macker sounds... What um, is that? Can you can you explain what the green feed is? <laughs> well, we're, you know, we're pretty used to having to deal with not a lot of rain, particularly uh, where, where we're from, out at Kellebaran. Um, but this year we obviously had a pretty good start and it was very warm, lots of rain. Um, that set us up for a cracking worm season. So we've seen a lot of worm burdens this year. Um, a lot of barber's pole in areas that we don't usually see it, a lot more inland. Um, so that has caught a lot of people out. But the green feed itself, um, it's great. It's a highly nutritious nutritional feed you know this is broad we're speaking cereal crops we're, we're talking improved pastures or, or just uh, you know pastures are having a break it sounds counterintuitive saying that green feeds an issue it's a highly nutritional uh, type of feed the energy the protein that we've got in there uh, are really high however if we don't uh, balance that with the excessive rumen degradable protein, the lack of fibre and the mineral imbalances that we do see, particularly with our um, cereal crops that we are more commonly getting grazed now, uh, you know, clients will see issues with their stock not performing as well as expected. Um, a lot of nutritional scours, and we can see clinical deficiencies with calcium and magnesium as well. So, a lot of what we've been doing this year is trying to educate people on yes, happy days, we've got a lot of feed on the ground, but we do still need to be making sure we manage it. There properly. is some more money to be made with some um, with some supplements added to their diet. For sure, yeah, definitely, particularly fibre. That's a huge one. You know, green feed is made up of a really high water content, so um, that just go straight through them and uh, you know reduces the absorption of those nutrients that they're getting. And all this is available through your local nutrient branch? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So clients can get um, into contact with myself or Bronwyn through their local branch as well as our numbers are sort of out there um, for the taking so you can call us directly as well and um, yeah we're more than happy to come out and we really do love to sit down and uh, chat about your enterprise as a whole and see kind of where we could help assist in hopefully increasing your efficiency and productivity. Thank you for joining us on Nutrient Live. No worries Macca.